California Golden Seals scrambled to relocate the franchise to Cleveland from the 1976-77 NHL season. The Cleveland Barons were a fast-skating, forechecking team with potential, but quickly shifting to a new city brought numerous challenges. The big question was, how would the team respond? In Cleveland, we really worked hard. I mean, the greatest players in the game came in there. Uh, we had Jill Malash in that, who was an all-star. He was a great goaltender. We had the 3M line, Dennis Baruch, Al McAdam, and Bobby Murdoch, Donnie Murdoch's brother. What a line that was, you know. Bob Stewart at defense. Um, it, it, was, it was really a, a fun team. Well, after a few months, ownership was bleeding money and fans weren't backing a losing team. The Barons were stuck at the bottom of the deep Adams division, and their rink was placed on a desolate highway between Cleveland and Akron. The arena's isolation only added more distance between the losing team, potential fans, and the city of Cleveland. The Coliseum, like I said, you were right. It's halfway between Cleveland and Akron, Ohio. And that big highway, an interstate highway, was how you got there. And, you know, I mean, in most places you had an arena with a city, you know, so you can go out after the game and so on. It wasn't that way. I mean, we were out in the middle of nowhere. Money problems surfaced in February 1977, and the owner couldn't pay the team. The players were united in their unhappiness and were set to stage a mass retirement. Eventually, the Players Association and the NHL loaned money to salvage the season. Miraculously, the Barons started a second NHL season, but after 20 games, the team had a mere six wins. The parents developed a pattern of inconsistent play and bad luck. By late December, the organization was struggling and desperate for quick changes and a flurry of trades instantly sparked a few big wins. But eventually, the Barons would keep losing games. A 13-3 loss against Buffalo seemed to kick the air out of the team. The Barons went on a 15-game winless streak. When the season ended, the Cleveland Barons merged with the Minnesota North Stars and were gone. Fortunate uh, history with the WHA before the Barons got there, um, and uh, and the bad thing with uh, Nick Belletti and uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers, who we shared the building with. There was all sorts of politics going on, and we ran right into that. The lesson, ladies and gentlemen, that is learned from Cleveland and every team that I win, and that is this. This great game of hockey is exactly that. It's the greatest game. It's the best spectator sport in the world. And once people, as Phil Esposito once said, once we get you to the arena, we got you. All right? And that has held true. And what I'm saying is that's fine. And that's a great, uh, great ingredients to have. But you can't hang out the shingle and expect people to come. You got to go out. You got to get them. You got to bring them. You got to do everything to make them a, a great night of it and carry it out in your marketing and everything else. And, uh, and that was another mistake that they made because they thought because Cleveland was a great hockey town that it would be a, you know, a gold mine 